Well, hello everybody, it's Tim again. Uh, no, we're not taking the TS940 apart again. This happens to be the radio that I have tuned to something. So what I want to do is, this is going to be kind of an impedance deal where I want to see what difference in impedance is going to make on audio. And uh, I'll be using a couple different microphones and I'm going to announce them. I'm going to use the Golden Eagle on channel 14, which is 27125 here in the U.S. And uh, on AM, make sure. And we'll see, we'll hear how it sounds uh, with different microphones. And I'll announce which microphone I'm on. And we'll go from there. So, keep your ears peeled. Okay, the first microphone is the Kenwood MC50. It's the Kenwood MC50. And uh, see how that sounds. I can tell you, well, um, I'm about, uh, my mouth's probably about almost a foot away from it. I'm talking in a normal tone of voice. This is the Silver Eagle, about the same distance apart. Uh, I know the gain's turned up, I can see the needles moving, but I'm still about a foot away. This is the Silver Eagle, and uh, we'll go from there. This is the original D104. Alright, there's the test specimen, and uh, I want to add a couple things here. I edited the uh, the movie, whatever you want to call it. I edited it so that uh, the microphone tests were all in a row. So now that uh, you've saw there or listened to all four of them, uh, you can go back and I'll show you what I actually did. To me, I really didn't hear much difference, but again, you know, I know there's, there's limiters and that the... Uh, the frequency response is only so great coming through a radio into a camera then across YouTube and then across your machine but uh, I I don't know like I said I'm gonna leave this like this for a while maybe do a little bit more research into it maybe even uh, try uh, if I can get someone to give me a hand listen to it on, on a uh, mobile or on a portable or something else that I can get a better listen to it how it actually sounds straight on what I do like about it is there's not a battery in it because then I don't have to worry about the battery corroding. Uh, so the next step will be is try the other mic on the 940. Well, I don't know if we're going to do that in this video or not. I just want to keep this short. Uh, I did notice that the uh, the radio from the uh, Kenwood, the Kenwood microphone, the first one, there was uh, a hum in the background of that. So I want to look further into that too. I don't know where that was coming from. It's definitely more prevalent in that than it is with anything else, so I don't think it's just a AC hum. Uh, I don't know if it's some type of RF noise, but like I said, I'll look into that and, and come up with that, but I guess something good did come out of this video. But yeah, so I'll put the rest of it in, and then you'll be able to see what I actually did. It's no rocket science. Uh, that's really not that exciting, but uh, just so uh, in case somebody else wants to give it a try or just curious what I did or just basically needs photos of something. You'll have them. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Um, and my pointer's gone again. Someone stole the darn pointer. Okay, well, I'll stand up then and do it. Oh, there it is. So, here's where the microphone itself, the actual D104 part of the microphone, the, the silver microphone itself, plugs into the top of the shaft and then it comes down and this is at the bottom there's that uh, terminal board there this is the uh, actual the switches up in the shaft 
that the old one has. The new one, they're, the, sw the switches are actually at that TUGA base at the bottom of the base, but on the old one, they're in the shaft, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to bypass all this, the amplifier and controls, and basically we'll take the green wire, and it's going to go straight to the white, which is right here, and the white is your uh, microphone. And the ground already goes to ground, so I'm not going to need to make any changes with that whatsoever. So all I'm going to do is disconnect the green wire right here, take the white wire that's off of here, and attach it right there. So that will get rid of all this stuff and possibly have a high impedance. I'm not sure. Kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. I guess I could really read more, but you know, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'll pull the microphone up here and I'll show you. I'm going to try and zoom out so that... So here's the mic and in the bottom here is the, the terminal board that I showed you. Inside, way up inside the uh, shaft is where the switch is that controls the push to talk. Now on the newer one, that the other one I have, the shaft, the uh, switch lays down here and there's actually a uh, kind of a plastic pivot that reaches down and pushes down on the switch whenever you key it. Um, but here's the microphone I was referring to. This is the connector that I showed you before with the uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 1 and 2 are jumped together and they're the common or the ground and 3 is the hut. So I'm going to unsolder, where are you here? I'm going to unsolder this green right here. That's the one that goes to the terminal board. I'm going to take this white that's right here and attach it right there. Let's see how that goes. Wish me luck. Okay, and there's the finished product. You can see I moved the white wire over to here. That wire goes there. The green wire that was attached is just removed and laying down there does nothing. Uh, move it. The green wire that was attached is just laying down there and all does nothing. And there's no longer a need for the battery. So let's just see what happens now. I'll put the camera back where it was so we have kind of the same acoustical uh, situation. I know to me, when I listened to it through the uh, camera, it kind of sounded like I was in a jar for all three microphones. Like, neither one sounded all that deep and bassy. Uh, I can't say how it sounds on this radio because obviously I'm, I'm upstairs uh, on the other radio, but uh, I know that I've heard this radio when I was mobile and uh, I had somebody else using it the, uh, with, with this microphone and I thought it sounded really good so that's why I was kind of surprised to see that the uh, the wiring requirements for the, the Golden Eagle say that you should only use the high impedance mic and not the, uh, the amplified version because the amplified has the lower impedance. So that being said, I think I'm ready to go. I'll move the camera, go up, and we'll try this again with the same volumes and everything and see how it sounds. Wish me... Okay. So, unless there was something drastic that I didn't hear yet, we'll try it like that for a little bit before I go and make any changes. And uh, we'll see. If you guys heard anything or noticed anything, feel free to put in the comments below what you noticed or heard. Uh... Maybe I'm just old and deaf. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, let me see. That, uh, right now, the last was the D104 with the uh, circuit board removed, so it was going straight to the mic cartridge, which should have been, which should have given me a higher impedance. Somewhere they're saying somewhere in the area of one meg. Uh, and if you look up the specifications for wiring the, uh, D104 to a lot of the radios, but mainly the 820 and the, the which I have one of those too, and the Golden Eagle, it tells you use the high impedance version only. And I believe that's the version without the, I think that the head's still the same, it's just that it doesn't have the amplifier board in there because that amplifier board, even though it is an amplifier, it's also really good at matching impedance. And from what I gather, that amplifier board makes them all five thousand uh, ohms the impedance so that's kind of a medium to low I get I don't know medium because it'll work on this the 940 um, 
So we're going to try the other radio, the other mic next and see how that goes. Now you can say thanks for watching.